What's up guys, Jared here. So for our Nexus 4 lovers out there, uh, we have MIUI version 5. Now at this point in time, MIUI hasn't released any official MIUI ROMs for the Nexus 4. However, some awesome developers over at XDA managed to get their hands on the build and port it for our lovely Nexus 4s. So here it is. Now, those of you that aren't familiar with MIUI, this is what a lot of people like to describe as a really great hybrid between Android with all of its customization options and iOS and its simplicity and clean looks. Um, and that's really what this is. A very stable ROM, great on battery life, easy on RAM, looks awesome, it's simplistic and very functional. Now you'll notice down here um, in our buttons, in our nav bar here, uh, we've got home, back button, uh, menu button, and our recent task button, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, you can actually maneuver these around and switch these around so you can have any order you like, which is awesome. So they give you that customization option. Jump into the recent task menu here. This is kind of an interesting thing. So say for instance, you've got an application that you never want to have closed. You go ahead and select it, swipe down on it, and you'll notice a little lock button. Uh, a little lock icon appears there and that will stay there and be persistent in your memory um, If you want to remove that go ahead and swipe down again If you want to remove the application itself and kill it go ahead and swipe up It also gives you an indication of how much free RAM you have so as you can see here with four open at the moment um, We're actually going pretty light on things aren't we so that's really great to see um, You'll also notice that MIUI doesn't actually have a uh, application tray per se the home screen is the application tray um, That said you can still install Install, download and install third-party launchers, Nova Launcher, Apex, yada, yada, yada. And that will give you the app tray back again. Um, however, it won't look as pretty as this. And I'm not 100% sure if the icons will look the way they are, though. I'm, I'm sure they will. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, pull down the notifications right here. Now, you'll notice as soon as we pull it down, it jumps right into our quick settings or our quick toggles. Now, if we did, in fact, have notifications and we pulled it down by default, it would go to our notification tray. But, but since we don't, um, being the functional MIUI ROM that it is, go right to toggles. Uh, you can also jump into your settings menu by hitting that button up there in the top right hand corner. Now you do have the option between quick settings and all settings. Quick settings is pretty much this in a nutshell with just some additional options. Jump into all settings and of course as you would imagine we have access to all of our settings. Um, there's all kinds of things in here. You can change things around with the status bar. You can change around the battery bar, um, the percentage of the battery, things like that. The overall look and feel of that. Um, you also have options to change um, some different different mapping of what happens when you long press on the navbar buttons, although quite limited, I must say, that's a little bit disappointing. You do have option to use volume rockers for wake, uh, to wake up the device. Um, LED, so you've got some limited options here to choose on what happens when you receive text messages, emails, missed calls, things like that. I would have liked to see more options, but again, you know, it's meant to be simplistic, so you can always download a third-party application like LED Blinker Pro, which I've reviewed uh, quite recently, um, compatible with pretty much everything out there, so that would take care of that issue. You'll also notice that with MIUI ROM, they've got a lot of really, really nice uh, window transitions and animations going on. Uh, pinch out, and that'll bring you into that particular menu here where you can modify your home screens, uh, change around the order of applications, um, any widgets that you might want to include, and so on. Uh, so that's cool, and it just kind of slides in really nice transition animations there. I, I really appreciate that. Um, jump into security. When you first flash this ROM, you're going to want to jump into the security center, tap on permissions, get in here. Um, there's going to be this particular selection here. Click on root permissions and make sure you click on enable permission monitor and uh, enable that toggle there. And that will give you access to give your applications that require root access root access. <laughs> so um, that said, so anyways, uh, back on the thread that I'm going to be posting a link in the description below to download this particular ROM. There's a couple of different options, one of which is to go with completely stock MIUI and the other one is this one that I'm running, which actually has like, just a couple of different changes such as the media scanner, a rebooter application so you don't have to use your power button and, and your keys, um, add away, so no advertisements, as well as a stock Android um, camera application, which does in fact, yes, have the photosphere capability, which the MIUI stock Android application does not. So that's why I choose this particular one. Uh, so far, no force closes whatsoever. Very stable, very fast. MIUI ROM has always been great on um, battery, but this is compatible with several other kernels out there, which are actually listed in the thread for this particular uh, ROM port. Again, link in the description below. Check it out. Read the first post. Read the second post. Make sure that you have all the um, you know things that you want, the different options that you want in this particular ROM. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far, guys. If you guys still have a Nexus 4, this is 
is definitely a great way to go. MIUI version four, or sorry, version five. Let's not get that mistake. In version five, MIUI version five, great ROM all around. It's always fun to play around with this. That's it for now though, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you appreciate this video, show me by clicking that likes button down below. It definitely goes a long way for my channel. Also, if you're new to my channel, maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. And you can always stay up to date on all things The Smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google+. That's it for now, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.